Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a empties video just because I've never done this video on my channel at least I don't think I did but um, I've been collecting loads of things that I've used up over the past couple of months and today I basically decided to share everything with you and do like a little review of each of the products that I used up. So I have a bag full of things that I've used up and I'm going to jump straight into it because I'm conscious that the video will be really long. So I'm going to start with like hair products and the first one is the Avon Natural Hair Care Full Volume Shampoo and it's the Raspberry and Hibiscus one. So it looks like this. Um, I'm one of those people that I don't really mind what shampoo or conditioner I use. There is like one type of product that I have to have and it's the Lee Stafford is it Lee Stafford? I think it's Lee Stafford, the hair that doesn't grow past a certain length, that hair mask, and also purple shampoo. Those are the only th two things, like two products that I have to have. But other than that, I really don't mind what shampoo or conditioner that I use. So my mom usually buys these from Avon or Oriflame. Yeah, this one was one of my favorites just because it was like raspberry and it's really, really nice. Um. I don't have much to say about this. It washed my hair. My hair smelled really nice afterwards for a couple of days. Um, and yeah, it was really, really nice. So I would highly recommend the Avon shampoos. They're really um, cheap as well, as far as I know. And you get 250 ml in this. So yeah, I really like this. Next up, I have a dry shampoo and this one is the Batiste Tropical Dry Shampoo. And again, it's dry shampoo. Batiste is one of my favourite um, brands for dry shampoo. If you know any other ones that I should try out, let me know because I'm always on the lookout for like new products to try. So let me know which one, which um, which dry shampoos you really like so I can give them a go. This one was really nice. Um, not one of my favourites. The scent wasn't one of like my favourites. It smells really summery. So it was nice for the summer. But um, I, my favourite Batiste dry shampoo is the floral one i can't remember what the name of it blush pink or something like that it's called but um yeah i it did the job so that's all um i have to say really wasn't a big fan of the scent but again it did the job so i didn't really mind next up i have the johnson's baby shampoo and this is the 500 ml bottle these are the size that i usually get just because you get so much product for like it's usually on offer actually as well, so it's really cheap. But um, this is the shampoo that I wash my makeup brushes with and I feel like it's really gentle for my brushes. It doesn't ruin them. My brushes don't shed afterwards. afterwards. And yeah, I really, really like this and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for something to wash your makeup brushes with because it doesn't have any like scent and um, it's just really gentle because it's made for babies, so it's really nice to wash your brushes with and I already repurchased this I want to say five times I think so I already have like backups in the bathroom to wash my brushes with I have a couple of shower gels. These are like things that I use up probably the fastest So the first thing is from Oriflame and it's the shower cream Softening avocado. It looks like this. This was one of my favorite shower gels like I've ever used it was so nice and it smelled amazing and it was just really nice and fresh and oh, I just really liked it. It kind of reminds me of summer now because I used it during the summer. So um, yeah, I really, really, really like this and I really want to um, repurchase this scent of it. So that was nice. The next one I have is Dove Go Fresh Rebalance Body Wash and this one is with Plum and some blossom or whatever but um that's what it looks like again it's just a shower gel um it's not really nice floral and fresh and clean i really liked it it was nothing special so it wasn't like one of my favorites but it's not really nice it left a nice scent on my body for like afterwards and i did really like it i love dove original scent I feel like that's the best thing that ever came out. Dove Original Body Wash is just 
let me know if you're obsessed with that scent as well because it's so nice. And the last body wash I have here is the Isana, I want to say. I think it's German because my mum brought it back from Germany. She she usually like brings lots of things back and this was one of them. It's like fruit and then um, coconut. So there's the picture of the fruit and coconut. So that's what it smelled like. It was very tropical. It wasn't my favourite scent. I don't really like tropical things and like pineapple-y things or whatever. But um, it was it was fine. It did the job and I liked it. Next I have some skincare products and the first one is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. You hear me talking about this constantly. I feel like I talk about it in every single video. But um, it's the best product out there to take my makeup off with. I would highly recommend it. If you haven't used this yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you have to. Oh, my cat is killing a fly. Thank you. Um, this is the biggest size bottle that you can get and I feel like you get most use out of this one. And again, it's sometimes on offer in boots. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that because I usually get it this size. I feel like it's pointless getting it in the smaller sizes. But um, yeah, one of my favorite products. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's really gentle. It takes all of my makeup off in one go. And it's just amazing. The next one is also one of my absolute favorite products and it's the Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic. I have this in a spritzer form right now and I really like it. But this one was one of my favorites as well. So it's like next time when I have to repurchase it, I don't know whether to get it in the spritz form or whether just to get it like this. Because with the spray form, I um, I just spray it all over my face. But with this, I like I used to apply it on a cotton wall pad and then just like basically put toner on my face but it kind of got rid of more makeup that was on my face which was really nice so um I definitely will repurchase this someday it smells amazing it's one of my favorite scents and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a toner next I have something that I really enjoyed using and it, it's the Sephora coconut water cleansing wipes I got these in where did I get these I think I got them in Poland I think so or in Spain I'm not sure now but um, I really like these. You only get 25 wipes and they were quite expensive, I think. But um, I do really like these. They were nice and gentle on my face. They didn't break me out or anything. These also come in different scents, which I definitely want to try out in the future. Um, the only thing, yeah, they were a bit expensive, which I think kind of brings it down. It's like the simple wipes. They're really good. But they're really expensive, like for 25 wipes it's like 4 or something and that's just really bad. <laughs> I need to let my cat out. But yeah, I really enjoyed using these and I would highly recommend them. Next up I have a product from Lush and it is the Mask of Magnuminty Face and Body Mask. It looks like this. I feel like I'm really bad at using face masks. I use them whenever I can remember about them. Other than that, I don't. And this was one of these that like you have to use by a certain date and it kind of went off so I just stopped using it because this is what it looks like. It's just dried up now and it's definitely for the bin but um, I used it a couple of times. I used it, I don't know, 10 times definitely. And I did really like it. It was nice and fresh and minty and I feel like it kind of, it didn't irritate my skin but it made it really like red. But I did like it and I feel like it cl like cleansed and cleaned my face really nicely. So I did like it and but I'm not sure if I would repurchase it again. I feel like I'd, I'd want to try like different um, face and body masks from Lush the next time. But um, yeah, let me know what are your favourite Lush face masks because I definitely want to give some other ones a go. There's like a pink one that everybody raves about. I can't remember the name of it now. But um, everybody says that it's really nice so I might give that one a go next time. But yeah, I did really like it. Um, it's not something for everybody because I feel like if you have really sensitive skin, I think it might like burn you a little bit too much. So um, yeah, it was... It was good, but I would not repurchase it. Next, I have a deodorant, and this one is the Sure Maximum Protection Sport Strength. So this is what it looks like. They also come in different versions, so there's like a 
sport one, there's like confident, there is, I can't remember, but there's so many different like types of these and they have like different colors. But this is the deodorant that I usually use and I use it every single day. And it's the best thing ever. It says that it holds 48 hour dry protection, right? And I feel like that's correct. I also, I used to use um, the Dove kind of like roll on um, deodorant before. And I used to rave about it. It used to be my favorite thing. And then I feel like my body got used to it and it just didn't work. So I tried this and I've honestly been using this for, I think two years, at least a year and a half. And it's one of my favorite like deodorants I've ever used. I usually use the Sports Strength or the Confidence. I have the Confidence one in my bag right there. And it's really good. It says on the back that you can use it after your shower in the evening and then it works throughout the night and then it protects you for the whole day. So I do do that sometimes, but sometimes I forget to like put deodorant on after my shower and I just put it on in the morning. But it's really nice, it, like, it protects you from any smelling situations and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a roll on deodorant. Next I have a perfume that I used up and it is the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. It's the perfume that I usually get for Christmas. I have like three more bottles on my little shelf down there. It's one of my favorite scents. Um, it's not my favorite um, Marc Jacobs perfume. The other one that I really like is the Daisy Oh So Fresh. I feel like that's how you say it. And it's the kind of taller one with, it's kind of pink. And this one looks more gold. But um, I really do love the scent. It's kind of my, it's kind of become my signature scent right now. So if you, if you're wondering how I smell, probably like this. <laughs> um, yeah, I really, really like it. I have other ones, backups of it. So I keep using this. And I feel like I will be using it for a while. Next, I have a little hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I can't remember what um, scent this was. And you can see that there's still some like left at the bottom, but I just can't get it. It just doesn't fall out anymore. But um, it was like a summer scent and it was nice. It was tropical. Not, not my favorite scent ever, but um, it did the job and yeah, I really love hold like holding. I really love having these in my um, handbag, so I have one in there right now, and loads of backups. You probably saw on my Instagram if you follow me on there. I showed you on on my story how many Bath and Body Bath and Body Works hand, hand sanitizers I have. It's crazy. It's an addiction. <laughs> Another thing I have is a little sample of the La Roche Posay F F F Eclair Duo. I can't say that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's one of these little creams and what does it do? Anti-imperfections and anti-marks. So I used this for a while until it ran out. It didn't do anything for my skin I feel like. Maybe if I had a full size and I used it for a couple of more, more days I would see a difference but yeah I feel like it didn't do anything. I can't remember maybe but I feel like it didn't do anything to my skin, so that's that. <laughs> and then I have a couple of makeup bits. The first one is Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and it's completely empty. This is one of my favorite drugstore powders, if not my favorite drugstore powder. I feel like it stays matte, like your, my face stays matte for a long time when using this. I usually use my MAC powder these days, but if I had to go for a drugstore version, this is the powder that I would use. So yeah, I get mine in the shade Transparent because I feel like it matches my skin tone the best. I don't have a bad thing to, t to say about this. One of my favorite um, powders out there. So if you're looking for a powder, definitely check this one out. And then I also have another thing from Rimmel and it is these foundations. So these are the Rimmel Match Perfection foundations. And these are basically my favorite foundation out there. I've said it before and I'll say it again. These are like the best thing ever invented. So I have one in the shade 200 and then I have one in the shade 103 and another one in the shade 101. <laughs> so I went through these a while ago. I have one more down there and I have another one in my drawers. And at the moment I'm using a different one from Rimmel, but I'll talk about that in another video. But um, these are my favorite foundation out there. 
I've never used a better foundation than this and I feel like I will be using this for a lot more years to come. <laughs> Another foundation I have here is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and this is what it looks like. My one was in the shade Rose Vanilla and I liked it at the time. It wasn't my favourite. I always preferred the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. I feel like this foundation used to cling to all my dry patches on my face, so like around my nose and any like imperfections or blemishes that I had, it used to just stick to those in like patches. So it wasn't one of my favourites. Um, I definitely wouldn't repurchase it because I didn't enjoy that much. But um, I feel like it's a load of people's favourites, so don't like, don't go by my opinion too much just because so many people um, like it and I've, maybe it just wasn't right for my skin tone no skin tone skin type and yeah that's all i have to say but i really do love l'oreal products so it's not like i'm putting l'oreal down i really do love their products but this foundation just wasn't for me and i really want to try out the l'oreal lumi magique foundation let me know if you tried that out and what you thought of it because that is next on my list to buy but yeah this was just a no no and last but not least, I have two concealers to show you. The first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 10. This is one of my favourite concealers of all time. Um, it's great for under the eyes just because it's really lightweight, but it has great coverage. So this is the concealer that I constantly use. I have one up there on my makeup desk that I usually use every day. And yeah, I've always tried the shade number 10. And I also want to try the shade number 15, but it's always sold out. But um, this is the one that matches my skin tone the best. And I really like it. I can't say anything bad about this concealer. And then another one is the Maybelline Instant Age, Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. And it's one of the ones with the little sponge on top. My shade is the shade Light. I have one in my drawers that's nude and that one is like really really dark and I can only use it um during the summer and not under my eyes because it's too dark for under my eyes but like to cover my blemishes it's really good but um yeah again don't have a bad thing to say about this I do prefer the Maybelline Fit Me concealer to the eraser eye but um everybody raves about this and it's really nice I'm not a fan of the applicator just because I feel like it just gets so many germs on it and you can't wash it or maybe you can. I've never tried to wash it. But um, yeah, I just hope that they bring this out in a different packaging maybe. That would be really nice. Because the product is really, really good. Just the applicator isn't one of my favourites. But um, yeah, that's my two concealers. So I can see that the video is 22 minutes long already. And I hope I can shorten it down a little bit. Because I haven't filmed a video in a while. So I kind of sat here and I was like, hmm, I want to chat. So let me know in the comments below how you have been, what have you been up to. I'm kind of really busy with college at the moment. Yesterday I finished one of my like projects which was very stressful and yeah I was just dreading the day but I got it done and I'm really happy with it so yes I did it. Um, I have a couple more like essays and projects to finish but I hope like I get them done fairly fast and I get to enjoy December and the end of November, but um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see these empty videos, empties videos, in the future, I'm going to keep collecting the things that I use up and hopefully you like the video. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see. I feel like there's two more videos in November and then we're into December where, where I will be vlogging every day. Um, I'm going to try my best in any way, that's my plan to do vlogmas every single day of December but um you never know something might pop up with college or whatever and I'll be busy but for now I'm doing vlogmas so get excited I'm really excited and let me know what you would like to see during vlogmas anything you would like me to do um and yeah I really hope you have a lovely day and I will see you all in my next video bye